Alright, so basically there's so many fixes for this problem with the, the HP with the black screen. It was a design fall from HP, but it is fixable in many different ways. Um, some ways on YouTube have mentioned soldering, taking a heat gun to it. That's a lot of work. you got to take the whole laptop apart. Some people have talked about using an oven, taking your motherboard apart and using an oven. But uh, I heard a few people in the comments saying that a hairdryer worked. I'm like, why not give it a try? It's the easiest way possible. So what I did, it's really easy. What I did is took the hairdryer, simple hairdryer, in there, you can see that's the problem. That tiny little, see the red right there? That chip with the red around it, that is your problem. So, took the RAM out, obviously you need to take it out. I recommend you taking the hard drive out as well. Take the cover off, take the hard drive out. You take the, super simple, you take the hair dryer and I don't know how long I did mine, I think I did mine for 120 seconds, 60 seconds between, just be careful, take it in there, run it, for up to 120 seconds, now be careful, depending on how hot your hair dryer is, you might need to do it more or less, but I did mine a little bit too long and the plastic actually starts sagging from the heat, so be careful. Um, and do it at your own risk. I mean, <laughs> I was really disappointed. I bought this computer off eBay, and they didn't say it didn't work. It was super cheap, only a hundred bucks. Got it off eBay, and uh, and I I get it, and I turn it on, and I get no display. So I'm like, oh, it's the, it's the problem. Yeah, the problem with this notebook series. So, I've been looking at internet fixes all this evening on YouTube. I haven't done a, a Google search or a Bing search yet, but I have uh, I have done YouTube searches, and there's just so many things out there. I know I'm just adding to all of them, but I'm like, what the heck? It's the easiest, easiest way to fix the laptop. Just take your hair dryer, run it for. 60 seconds on your laptop and I just got done doing it less than two minutes ago as soon as I turn my laptop on I grab my camera I'm like what the heck <laughs> it actually worked my screen turned on and this thing works <laughs> and here I thought I'd have to go through eBay trying to get this thing returned and <laughs> And I run the hair dryer on it. <laughs> and in less than five minutes, I have the laptop working. So the hair dryer is totally a thumbs up. It's definitely something you need to try. It's not that hard. Careful while you're doing it that you don't uh, overheat any anything, but just run it. Run it in where I, I told you at the beginning of the video in that vent. And... It's worth a try. I mean, I don't know if it'll work for everybody, but it, it worked for me, and I am super excited that I got this laptop working in less than five minutes. Didn't have to take it apart, nothing. So, I do recommend after you fix it, buy a copper shim or some, uh, there's many fixes for it, but, but I'm definitely going to be, uh, fixing that issue I shut it off with the overheating after you have it working again I recommend you fix the issue for good because this thing is running running on hot of course I just ran the hair dryer on it so I'll shut it down <coughs> so give it a try it's definitely worth it um, basically the reason these laptops did break, um, if you want to know why, it's really simple. Um, the graphics driver 
which is what makes the screen turn on, is soldered to the the motherboard, obviously. So when the heat, these things have very bad design and on distributing the heat. So when they heat up, um, it really kind of causes the graphics driver to start loosening from the motherboard. And so basically what the hairdryer did is heat it up enough so that it kind of melted back onto the the seal kind of melted back onto the motherboard. So if it happens again, I'll, I'll use the hairdryer again, but I'm going to try to rework the cooling so that it won't happen again because it's not good to have your thing, your laptop overheat like that. So yeah, give it a try. It's worth it. Thanks for watching.